Hi guys, today we're going to make a dagboek inschrijving. And first and foremost, I want you to read your question. What are you going to write a diary entry about? And our question is going to be, Die dag voor die examen en na die examen. So usually you're going to write two diary entries because they need to know what happened, how did you feel before the thing happened and how did you feel after it happened. So that's usually what they expect of you at grade 11 matric level, but I'm assuming in grade 8 and 9, it's going to be one diary entry. So let's start. So the first thing you have to write is the date. Woensdag 16 juli. Liever dagboek. Write a maximum of two paragraphs, although I would make it three, because you have an introduction, you have your body, and you have your conclusion as always. So your first paragraph is going to tell us what you are feeling. Who and what feel you? So here you have to give us your emotions. You feel scared. You feel anxious. You feel worried. You don't know if you're going to pass the exam. Or whatever the case might be. You must describe now how you're feeling. It can be a one-liner, a two-liner. Just to tell us how you're feeling. Then in paragraph two, you are going to explain to us why you're feeling like that. And now your thoughts about your exam is going to come in. Oh, I've been writing whole week. I haven't had a chance to pick up my life orientation book. And I have now one night to study for it. I'm extremely anxious. I know it's somewhat general knowledge, but I also don't want to go in there not knowing things in my textbook, for example. And this is why I'm feeling so anxious and worried about my exam tomorrow. Then I'm just going to follow from the top. There's not a second column. In your paragraph three, you're going to conclude by saying, I'll come right tomorrow or I, will, I hope tomorrow goes well. Let's rather do that. I hope tomorrow goes well and I hope I feel less anxious than I did today. So your concluding paragraph is always how you hope things are going to go the next day. And then you write your name, Sandy. Okay, that's your first Dachbuch inscription. For some grades, it will only be this diary entry. But for matrix and grade 11, you'll have to write another diary entry where you now tell us what happened in the exam. So it will be the day after the exam. So it will look like this. So now it will be the next day for our grade 11s and matrix and maybe grade 10s as well. Donderdag 17 juli. Lieve dagboek. And the same thing. Paragraph 1. How are you feeling? You'll say things like, Ik is baie gelukkig. But you could also have a negative tone. You could say, Ik is baie Ik weet nie hoe dit gebeur het nie. And paragraph 2, you now have to tell us, But now why are you feeling sad? Why are you feeling hot? So what do you mean you didn't expect this to happen? Then you could say things like, Ik het dier my, my werk gegaan. I got a general sense of what is happening in life orientation. But in the exam, I was thrown off to t totally. I should have studied harder. This is what happened, etc. Or you could have a positive note and say, wow, that was completely general knowledge. I could suck things out of my thumb. It was a perfect paper. I know I'm going to get a distinction. Then in your third paragraph, remember, I'm just carrying on from the bottom there. You tell us your concluding feelings. You, if, it, if it was a negative tone, you say, I'll never do this again. I'm going to take at least a week to study for life orientation. I'm going to go through every single past paper I can so that this doesn't happen again. Or it could be a positive note. You could say, okay, now I know that I don't have to study a week for the exams. I can go in there with general knowledge. I'll be okay. And I'm very happy about my performance. And then you end off with your name, Sandy. And it's as simple as that. I will see you in the next one.